This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodian market update for July 24th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was slightly down by 0.22 points or 0.05% to 415.36. Total trade volume was down again and extremely light. Only 52,073 shares changed hands at a total value of roughly 314 million Khmer Real or around 76,600 US dollars. Three stocks were up on the main board. Pestec Cambodia PLC led the market, up 3.28% or 80 real to 2,520 real per share, followed by Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, which was up 0.89% or 20 real to 2,270 real per share. Grand Twins International was also up 0.30%. On the downside, Sienic Ville Autonomous Port saw a 0.33% or 40 real drop to 12,120 real per share. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority was down by 0.28% or 20 real to 7,040 real per share, and Akleda Bank was down 0.27% or 20 real to 7,520 real per share. Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, MJQ Education, and CamGSM remained flat. Over on the growth board, once again for a third day in a row, both DBD Engineering and JS Land remained flat at 2,100 real per share and 3,500 real per share, respectively. Akleda Bank continued to record the highest trade volume of the day, with 33,693 shares changing hands at a total value of roughly 252.9 million real, or 61,600 US dollars, making up around 57% of all shares traded on July 24th. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ replaced CamGSM as the second highest trade volume of the day, however with only 6,650 shares changing hands, accounting for roughly 11% of Wednesday's trade volume. In other business-related news, on July 19, 2024, the Governor of the National Bank of Cambodia, Her Excellency Dr. Chia Sare, announced the introduction of a digital payment system for tourists through what is called the Bakong Tourist App. Under this mechanism, tourists will be able to download the Bakong app even if they don't have a local Cambodian bank account to withdraw money from, and can top up their Bakong wallets either through cash exchanges at the airport and at select partner hotels, or through the use of a credit card from their home country, such as Visa, MasterCard, or Union Pay. On July 24th, during a meeting between the NBC and tourism stakeholders from the private sector, Dr. Chiasere also confirmed that the Bakong Tourist app will be launched for testing within the private sector in a few weeks' time, during which another meeting will be organized. Another point that was discussed at the meeting was that tourists would also be able to use the Bakong Tourist app to make transactions in Vietnam, Thailand and Laos, with the added caveat that these transactions must be made in Khmer Real. The Khmer Real to USD weakened to 4,108 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was down to 104.44. Oil prices traded around their lowest level in six weeks on Wednesday, as the Northern Hemisphere gets deeper into the summer, with limited signs of the expected fuel consumption surge the period usually sees. Wednesday saw only a slight reprieve as prices snapped three straight sessions of decline on falling US crude inventories, and growing supply risks from wildfires in Canada boosted prices. Brent crude futures for September rose 66 cents or 0.8% to 81.67 US dollars a barrel. US West Texas intermediate crude for September increased 65 cents or 0.8% to 77.61 US dollars per barrel. Gold prices inched higher with investors awaiting US economic data that could influence the US Federal Reserve's rate cut timeline. Spot gold was up 0.3% at 2,416.39 US dollars per ounce. US gold futures gained 0.4% to 2,416.10 US dollars. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, Nasdaq 100 futures traded lower Wednesday as investors were underwhelmed by quarterly reports from mega-cap tech companies Alphabet and Tesla. Futures tied to the tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 moved down 1%, while S&P 500 futures fell 0.7%. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures were down 173 points or 0.4%. Shares of Google parent company Alphabet fell 3.4% in pre-market trading. Although Alphabet reported a top and bottom line beat, YouTube advertising revenue fell below the consensus estimate. Meanwhile, Tesla shares declined more than 7% on weaker than expected results and a 7% year-over-year drop in auto revenue. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 24th.